Hi, I'm Niall Steiner. We're going to tell you a little bit about the EVI, electronic valve instrument. Hi, my name is Joel Peskin, and I'm going to show you some techniques about the EWI, the electronic woodwind instrument, which is a BAME fingering system, which you'll notice it's like a saxophone. Both the EVI and the EWI have a continuous seven octave range, roughly that of a piano. <laughs> So we can play in any register that we like. We can play any bass or treble clef that we like. This instrument is an instrument which can sound good or bad, depending on how we play it. So it's like an instrument with a little practice, a little thought, you can sound good. If you don't put practice or thought in, you can sound bad. Let's see if I could find a sound here that demonstrates this. I'm going to take one sound, I'm going to play it two different ways. This instrument was designed with a functional philosophy. Uh, if you notice, a clarinet has a different kind of a mouthpiece than an oboe has. A bassoon has a different kind of mouthpiece than say a trumpet has. This instrument was designed to play a wide range, to have a certain kind of expressive, and to be the most expressive possible and feel natural. Therefore, the mouthpiece was designed to be optimal for that. A sax mouthpiece was designed to make a reed vibrate. This was designed to give us full expression in an electronic medium and still feel good. Uh, so, does, And the instrument is also designed functionally to where we don't have to worry about moving mechanical things. All of the keys on here are touch sensitive. They actually conduct through the skin, so it just requires a slight touch to activate any of the keys. Let's take a closer look at this instrument, the EVI in particular we will see that it is covered with keys that do not move. These keys work through conducting of current or electricity through the skin. When we play this instrument, a tiny amount of current flows through to ground, which we touch either here or here. With such a small amount of current that we don't feel anything. It's the same amount that flows through our bodies when we're sitting under a light. So there's no moving parts. The keys are very easy to play with very little movement. You soon get used to it, and it feels very comfortable. This is based on a trumpet or brass fingering. But instead of using the embouchure to play the overtone series, we play combinations of octave positions and fourth positions here. We simply get used to the instrument by learning which notes we're touching this ring in which notes we're not touching this ring. After a while, it becomes very simple. So between that overtone series and the vowels, we have a chromatic scale. We have three extra keys here, which make certain trills very easy. The instrument pitch bend is done right here. On both instruments, we bend using the thumb. This is a bend down. We bend up. And this tiny little sensor right here is a vibrato sensor. It senses only motion, so it makes it very comfortable to do vibratos by thumb motion. Instead of using an LFO, we simply move our thumb. I can do a slow, fast, delayed, any kind of vibrato I want. The mouthpiece is a specially designed mouthpiece, not to make reeds vibrate, not to look like an oboe, not to look like a clarinet 
but to be the best functional design for this kind of playing, which is an electronic instrument with a wide range of, of expression and range. This mouthpiece has been found to be the optimum shape when we don't have to worry about making a reed vibrate or we don't have to worry about any of the other things. This mouthpiece is very comfortable between the teeth. We simply put it between the teeth and relax the lip. It's in a very relaxed position and we let the air flow out the corner. I can actually feel the air coming out the corner. Air does not actually flow into the mouthpiece. As you can see, it will hold a note just by holding pressure. Matter of fact, I can, if I clog this hole up and squeeze the mouthpiece, which shows that air does not flow in. All of the air flow is at the corner of the mouth. By doing this, we have the same feeling as though air was flowing through the instrument. So blowing on this is exactly like blowing on your little finger. And you let the air flow out the corner of your mouth. If I tighten down like this, then air will not escape and I can use it for circular breathing. I can actually breathe while holding a note. I can play a phrase as long as anybody wants. So it's very handy having the mouthpiece in this way. The other thing that the mouthpiece does is if I bite on it, it controls the glide rate. If I bite less, the glide rate is faster. If I bite harder, the glide rate is, is slower. So between using the bite here, the bend here, the vibrato, and the way I play, the way I blow, we get all the powers of expression for many different styles. We can play everything from classical to jazz oriented. Okay, with the iwi, the electric woodwind instrument, you'll notice that they're touch sensitive keys like that of the EVI, except they're laid out in a BAME key system. So you'll notice that there's a full keyboard like the flute, the clarinet, the oboe, the bassoon, and everything is touch sensitive. So I'll show you the fingerings like let's say a C chromatic scale. You'll notice that the rollers here, your thumb has to be between the rollers, inside the dip of the rollers and not on the edge of the roller. And if you put your thumb between the two rollers and place your middle finger on the middle of the three keys in the upper left hand stack, you'll start playing a C chromatic scale like this. C. Open just the roller. And you play a D. Then a D sharp. An E an F, an F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp. Now this A sharp can be played another way. There's also a bis key, which is a little key that you'll find on saxophones. So you can also play the A sharp or B flat two ways. Or with this right here, the bis key. Then you have B and C. There's also an alternate fingering for the C. You can play this like a saxophone or a flute with all seven fingers on the keyboard. And then you can play C sharp with this finger here. So you'll find that there's many alternate fingerings. There's actually thousands of fingerings, and there's also a lot of trill fingerings. So you can be playing an A, a and trill up to B flat, 
or trill down to a G sharp, and there's a lot of alternate fingerings. Also, as I said before, when you hold the instrument, you always have to have your thumb on this contact right here. And this always completes the ground. Now, you'll notice I'm resting the instrument on my leg, but it is designed to work with a neck strap. But I, when I do TV and film work, I just feel comfortable playing it with, with the instrument on my leg. The EWI has the same pitch bend mechanism as the EVI. It has the from down to up and up to down. Another feature here is the, the mouthpiece has two functions, and they are a little different than the EVI. One function is, which is the same as the EVI, that when you blow air through the hole, it will produce a sound. And another function is that when you bite on the mouthpiece with your teeth, you will produce a vibrato, whereas the EVI, you'll produce a glide. So the vibrato function is just very natural, just like biting on a saxophone mouthpiece, a reed, or a flute, or you can use your throat. It'll just activate the vibrato. There is no switching. It's very natural, and, it, and it's played like this. Put the instrument in your mouth. You can put your teeth on the rubber and just blow and press like this. Another thing is, when you do blow air into the mouthpiece, I found through the years that tonguing and operating attacks is very, very easy. If you have your breath sensitivity moderately controlled where you don't have to blow too hard, all you have to do is put your tongue over the hole and say ta, or any, any, any syllable that you've learned in music to produce a tonguing sound. So if you just go ta, 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 Now I just went taka taka taka, which is like a double tongue. That's a triple tongue, which I was going tataka 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 tataka. And it is very easy to tongue this instrument, so you'll find with really great ease that you can really play passages and really tongue very fast because there's no resistance of a reed or an instrument that is very hard to produce a sound using a lot of mouth and lip muscle. So it makes it very easy to activate these functions by just tonguing freely and the sound is produced just as easily. I've showed you the one ground that you have to have your thumb on to ground the notes so you will produce a sound. But there is another thumb function here on this other metal contact. Use that for the glide or the portamento. Now on what Niall showed you with the EVI is a little bit different because he's using bite pressure to activate the glide. On the EWI, we use thumb pressure on this metal thumb plate like this, and it sounds like this. Now that's uh, something that takes work and it's an advanced thing because you have to use the amount of pressure and you have to roll your thumb. Let's say if you're playing a note, an A, and you want to start gliding from a real high note, you have to start playing the A, jump up the rollers to the high note, then put your thumb on the glide 